they just stacked, they stacked, they stacked the deck on me, you know, put a lot of allegations and a lot of hearsay and, and ran with it and, and turned me into, you know, something like that. I ain't just praying to God, man. God willing, man. They can do these trials and tribulations. I got locked up when, when Zay was like three months old, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much he was he was with his moms, in between his moms and his grandmother, his, his moms lived in the projects, Fairmont projects where I grew up, so he stayed up there and in between there and, and here Long Hill, you know what I'm saying, where his grandma stayed, he 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 been up here. He he was like a little hip hop kid when he was since, since a young and like, you know what I mean? Like we always knew he was gonna be on that. So he, he he definitely wasn't your average kid. Like he, he he was always different. You know what I'm saying? He was always rapping or you know what I'm saying, dancing or getting into something, dressing clothes. Like you know what I mean? He loved clothes since it always was fresh. You know what I mean? Thanks to his moms and his grandmother and everybody. But from a young age, his father was a gangster rapper, and he wanted to always be like his dad. I think Daquan started rapping probably like between five and eight years old. He used to always, he used to just be like, yo, dad, take me to the studio, take me to the studio. And I, I, I finally took him to the studio one time, you know what I mean? I had a song called, um, called I'm Gonna Get Mine, so I, I ended up putting him on the hook of that, you know what I'm saying? I let him say a little part to the hook, and like, he, he was, he was soup, you know what I mean? Like, after that, he was just like, yo, like, you know what I mean? So I knew that's what he wanted to do, because he would always beg me, like, just take him to the studio. So that was pretty much, like, his first time. I was in the thing. Rapping, dancing, basketball, had dreams of being, you know, everything. Like, but rap was the closest to me. So, I mean, my pops used to take me to the studio when I was young as hell. Used to go to the music videos and shit, and I would just see how him and his guys, Dirty D, standing on a movement, and that, and that shit just inspired me. No cap, it was it was more than rap. It was like everybody was in sync, and had the same vision and. Took a lot of shit I learned and seen from my pops and mixed it into my vision. So niggas, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Roll it right. Ah, uh, nigga, you don't got nothing. You wanna say the camera, niggas? Fuck. Uh, in the seventies, nigga. Yeah, in the seventies. Yeah, you right here. Niggas, in the in the hood, seventies. Where it's so many pain nights for for it all started at, like, you know what I mean? We, we right here where you shot the straight pain shit. You know what? Uh, 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 birdie. Niggas at the mailbox. Got a late night. Yeah. I'm feeling you. Free corny. Straight, straight pain night like. Shorty said that she hate when I be on the road. But if I was home, I'd probably be out with the bro. Real recognize real. Fake niggas get exposed. Me, I'm just... This music brings a lot of positivity. And that, that's, what, that's what's so sad because at the time when he was arrested, he was he was doing he was doing real good. He he just dropped that song with LB, dropped the video, his numbers was doing good, you know what I mean? He, he had just locked in his first show, you know what I'm saying, first paid show shortly before before all this happened, you know what I mean? So he was doing his thing and like he was just starting to see like, you know what I mean, what taking this music thing serious could get you, you know what I mean? Cause at first when he came home, don't get me wrong, like his his work ethic is crazy. That, that's one thing too, like I, I, I love about him and I give him like his his he he got a harder work ethic than I had when I was doing music, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was, for the moment he came home the first time, he was just in a studio, studio every day. Like, as soon as he came home, we already had a studio set up or whatever, so like, first day home, he shot a video and was just in a studio every single day, you know what I mean? From the time he got locked up, from, yeah, from up until that time, pretty much. My nigga lump, lump, lumped in the dirty Fiji. I seen a video like, eh. Free ass. Me, fuck it. Shit. Let, me, let me get on my shit. Never. Pop got the camera me. I'm like, yo, call everybody. Like, come to the hood. Like, call stars. All the niggas like, yo, niggas need me in a project. We about to do a video. For the AD. We put the end together. All that little shit. Like, this, that's where it really started. Where we was on YouTube with it. Feel me? Did, did the Dale like me? That's when shit really started going up. Talk to him, huh? Talk to him, huh? Yeah. 
Man, these niggas, they don't like no, me no, no, But they probably die, wanna die, fight die, 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 die. You know what I mean? Then, then, I, then I took the three. I did the three years, but I ain't taking much. Like, yeah, when you get back, you get back. I'm just writing in the cell, like, man, I'm about to go crazy out this shit. Came back to the hub, bitch. You know what I mean? I, first night in the studio, first day in the studio, niggas ain't no house coming. Put the beat on, camera me in here. That shit went to the moon. Basically, he got good. He, he, he started getting real good in rap. And I used to tell him, you know, it's, it's, it's all about family. You know, watch the people that you associate yourself with, you know, um, because nowadays people have a tendency of trying to cling to you when they think you're gonna make it big. I had I booked to open up for Albie in the town and shit. The day of the show, the DJ posts on IG like, all open and acts is canceled or whatever, so, you know, my free G broke, 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 broke out Albie on Snap and he sent him the post and Albie campaign for niggas like, man, before we even spoke, like, let, let, like, let little bro perform and get his bag, you know, but it was the police, of course, so he just hit niggas on FaceTime, like, send, send a location to the studio, wherever, you feel me, where I can link y'all niggas, and a couple hours later, we was working together, making fans watching. I was dope, man. And to this day, I look up to Albion, bro. I still keep up with some of the guys out in Jersey City. It's like anything he tried, he excelled in. Wanted to rap, excelled. School, excelled. Basketball, no matter what it was, he excelled. I think in Waterbury, the thing with Waterbury is when people see you excel and it's not them. Like a lot of hate come around and with the people hating on him and the police hating on him just made the situation even worse for him. New developments in the shooting outside of Waterbury Courthouse. Police say the shooting was gang-related and nine are under arrest. This is uh, Zyquan McDaniel. 19-year-old Zyquan McDaniel is the gunman. They say the shots were fired. The victim is 20-year-old Brian Cruz. He was shot in the lake outside the Waterbury Superior Courthouse. He'll be okay, we're told. Police say McDaniel was um, him and his girlfriend. They were just going to the gas station to get gas. Says all of a sudden, one of the cops drove by him and then looked, glanced at him, and then um, made a U-turn and they cut him off. They got out their cars, um, you know, and he, he consented to a search of the car and everything. Um, they searched the car, but I guess they wasn't happy, so they slammed him on the hood of the car and they slammed his girl. They didn't know she was pregnant, and that's what pissed him off the most, that she was pregnant. And he said something, so they couldn't get him for nothing but interfering with a police officer. So that brought him into court that day that the shooting was outside. I end up picking him up from the courthouse. We leave, I, I, I drop him off, I get pulled over, you know what I'm saying? And they, they like, oh, who'd you drop off? Yada, yada, yada. Long story short, you know what I'm saying? They end up charging my son for something that happened at the courthouse. But he was inside the courthouse and they got they, they got footage. The courthouse has a million cameras, you know what I'm saying? So you got the footage of my son in the courthouse. Some shit happens outside the courthouse. Nigga gets shot outside the courthouse or whatever. So you charge my son with it, you know what I mean? And then you turn around and then drop the charges months later, you know what I mean? Put a whole article in the paper about my son involved in a shooting at, at the Waterbury Courthouse. But then when you drop the charges, you don't put an article for that. Actually, they do put an article, but they put it in on the last page of the paper. You know what I'm saying? When, when you charge them, the article was on the front page. But when you drop the charges, the article was on the back page. And they basically told me, like, man, we know you ain't do it. You feel me? But if you don't tell us who did it, you you, you going down for it. What I'm supposed to tell y'all that I don't know. Like, you feel me? Why, why, why everybody that wasn't in that courthouse wasn't put in that same predicament? You feel me? Why y'all ain't tell everybody in that courthouse? They don't tell you what happened. They going to jail. Why, why I had to be the one with a million dollar bomb behind that? You feel me? And then when I, when I find, now, now I'm arrested for it. Face plaster, yeah, courthouse shooter. 
when I was in court sitting down the whole time. And I'm, I'm reading the paperwork. They got somebody positively identifying me saying, yeah, da da da, I see them shooting, da 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 da. But two, three weeks go by, and the police end up checking the, the courthouse footage. I never walked out the door. I walked back inside the courtroom with the rest of the crowd. You feel me? So it was like, damn, like, I don't know. Like, I just, is they out to get me? Like, what is, what's going on? Like, why? What, what did I do? You feel me? Being that, you know what I'm saying? He, he was the one that was rapping. I mean, a lot, a lot of them rap, but he was making the most noise for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like they really put the bull's eye on his back, man. You know what I mean? And, and the shit just ain't fair, man. At the end of the day. And I don't know if people have this perception. What you say out of your mouth is the life that you live, but is I don't know. It's acting per se. God gave me a chance so I could get it right. I remember rainy days and all them winter nights. We try and win, but on some real shit, we ain't living right. And ain't no scrapping in the hood, we let the pistols fight. And it's gonna be a homicide if we hit them right. That's points on the board, but real shit, we ain't living right. Nah. You know, like, everybody knows that they got him in there on false pretense. It was a false statement. It was, it was a complete lie that we, we, we feel like they used a false statement in order to arrest them just to get them off the street because like, you know what I mean? They, they, were, they were making a lot of noise out here, you know what I'm saying? They was doing their music and, and when you're doing music and you're, and you're in the spotlight and your name is in the, you know what I'm saying? A lot comes with it and I feel like that's part of the reason why they, you know what I'm saying, they, they went so hard to, to arrest them because when the situation first happened, he, he didn't get arrested, you know what I'm saying? He, he got arrested months afterwards for something else that they said he did, but they later had to end up dropping those charges, you know what I'm saying? And then they eventually charged him with his case that he has right now. They already dropped his co-defendant's case, you know what I'm saying? So it was three of them that, I, well actually I think there was four people that was charged and they, they already dropped one person's case and you know what I mean? Right now it's, it's just looking shaky, like the truth is, is about to come to light. And like I said, I, I know my son, you know what I mean? And I, I talked to my son, and, you know what I mean? And I know for a fact he didn't do what they said he did. And I know for a fact that they got him in there under false pretense. I don't know, I just, I, like I miss my nephew and I hate that this is actually happening to him because it don't only affect him, it affects everybody. Everybody that was around him, it affects. So he got two daughters right now the only way he can see them is on the phone or through visits and that's no kind of way to see it dad i wish he could hurry up and come home i wish the cops that you know actually was like gunning for my nephew um i hope they actions uh be brought to light um, waterbury police department actually don't have a, a a good background with their community um they don't police their community the right way. There's nothing in Waterbury for the kids to do. I feel like I, I ain't really been getting treated fair with the court system and the newspapers and you know, shit and that sort. They say you innocent until proven guilty, but if you read any article written about me, I'm painted to be the ringleader, you feel me? I'm the cornerstone for the Waterbury violence. Like, I got the highest bond in the state. And then when you check the facts on my case, like check, uh, warrants and shit it's cause somebody told them I committed a crime hoping to get a deal on the crime they committed you feel me and then it's, it's on it's on record the person gave a statement on me he admitted like man, I lied about everything but the newspaper ain't never right about that part and then, and then when my co-defendant beat the case and, and they still got me in Goon sitting with no trial date ain't been to court in 16 months saying COVID of course I don't really got no choice but to think the way I think. Unfortunately, I gotta chalk it up and go through whatever they throw at me, praying to make it through. But yeah, it's weird. I could get the priority in the news, but I can't get the priority in the court system. You know what I'm saying, my boy? He got he got his two daughters out here. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's crazy because like I know they're going through it. I know they miss their father. At the end of the day, we're just trying to hope, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, just get him out of there so he could get back to this. And and once again, like I said, it's like history re repeating itself because he in there, you know what I'm saying, he, him having kids and being in there, I, I know it hurts him. I know he, I know he's feeling it, you know what I'm saying? And I know he want to get out here and, and be there for his kids. You know, because before he left, he, he, 
he all he always was the type of dude to step up to the plate. Like he wasn't on that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and I think he's willing to do everything he has to do to come home, and he's been proven that. When it's said and done, whether it's a hundred mil or a hundred years, I'm gonna stay true to myself. I mean, you know, a lot of people they gonna they gonna pass judgment due to the music, due to what they read. Feel me? But anybody that know me for me, man, they know, man. I'm solid, loyal, stand on everything. I got family too. I got a daughter that never got to hug her dad through it all this shit. It's, not, it's hard waking up every day. And I know when you going home, you feel me? But I just try to respect the process and remind myself it's gonna get greater later on, bro. Real talk, man. I feel like he the, he the chosen one, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying that because he's my son. I feel like the music, every, everything is there, you know what I'm saying? The attitude, the, the work ethic, everything is there pretty much, man. Yeah. No more polls, I know the fans watch. We ain't showing no polls, you know the fans hype. Can't say too much, you know the fans watch. We ain't showing no polls, you know the fans hype. They say I'm bullshitting with the tape. But I've been out here really on it, so my niggas straight. And if you really with the nine, come and get a plate. I went from eating gel noodles, now I'm eating steak. Now to developing news in Waterbury, the U.S. Department of Justice announced charges against 16 gang members in the city. In a news conference this morning, the acting U.S. attorney for the District of Connecticut, Leonardo C. Boyle, says these 16 people are facing charges ranging from murder to attempted murder to firearm possession and drug trafficking. Police say the crimes are mostly between several rival gangs and that stealing cars is part of this investigation. I'll shoot it in the air, I'll use your face. Glove up, mask up, I don't leave a trace. You know the fast high. Can't say two more, you know the fast high. Don't show no pose, you know the fast high. Nine gang, we made the fast high. And every day we get a new eye. It's a crew shot. I used to stash the young lamb my two sock. Watch how you talking on my phone because the fast rock. I free my brother out the fast spot. I tell my youngest keep shooting to his head drop. See the ass shot is turning egg now. And I'm on these perkies from the mad spot. Murder cases at the murder case. Marrying niggas boots in the murder race. How we get cake, you know that mama straight. I can look him in his face and I can tell he fake. No more polls, I know the fans watch. We ain't showing no polls, you know the fans hype. Can't say too much, you know the fans watch. We ain't showing no polls, you know the fans hype. They say I'm bullshitting with the tape. But I've been out here really on it, so my niggas straight. And if you really with the nine, come and get a plate. I went from eating gel noodles, now I'm eating steak.